Hi, it's Professor Murray. Today I'm going to show you how to find and download CCW, Connected Components Workbench. It's Alan Bradley Rockwell's uh, latest software and the cool thing about it is it's free. In the next video I'm going to show you how to set it up to work with Factory I.O. so that you can do all sorts of things with it uh, from your own home computer. So let's take a look. Uh, first thing you have to find Rockwell's website. So easiest way to do that is just type Rockwell and find their website. And in order to do downloads, you're going to have to create an account and basically that's just signing up with your email address and if it calls for a, a business name, just put in the college uh, college name and or put in you know what whatever business you want, however you want to do it. It doesn't cost anything to get an account, so just go ahead and do that. Now when we get to the website, it's not very easy to, to navigate. And you would think that you would go to products to find the the download but that's not where it is. Don't ask me why. What you have to do is go to support and then under support you go to compatibility and downloads. So click on this guy There we go. And then here you're going to search for downloads by product. Now, the kind of strange thing about their website is if you just use this search up in the corner, it doesn't give you very good results. So get to this screen and do downloads by product. And then here under search, type in CCW. So I just typed CCW. I didn't have to press enter. It just pops up. Now the next kind of confusing thing is the first result is not the software you want. This is an old version. I don't know why they have it here like this, but you want the second one. So click on the second one. And the current version now is version 21. So click on that and then click on the download icon here. Okay. Here's my Connected Components Workbench Standard Multiple Languages version 21. So that's the guy I want. I'll click on Downloads and Download Now. Accept their terms. And what that did is this downloaded a downloader file onto my hard drive. So if I do show in folder and I open up my downloads folder, here's this file with this long strange name. So all this file does is this file does the downloading and it's kind of a three or four step process. So first you download this downloader file, and then I'll click on that, get that going. And this is going to download a compressed version of the software. And at some point it's going to start showing this bar filling in. It's probably going to take about half an hour for this to download maybe faster you can see the status here so it's it's gonna take a while and once we do that I'll show you the next step so I'll just pause things here for a little bit all right we're back so that probably took took about five minutes for that to download and you can see we're at a hundred percent now Okay, so it downloaded. I didn't open that folder, it just opened by itself. But you notice that 
we've got a folder called RA, that's for Rockwell Automation, and you can delete this folder later. Maybe this is probably a good time to point out that this is, it's not just one software program, it's a suite of programs and utilities and drivers, and when you download it, it all comes in one batch, but if you want to uninstall it, then it's kind of a, a big task because you have to hunt down and uninstall all the components. And there's probably about 20 different things to uninstall. So don't do this on a whim. Make sure you really want this software and you have space on your computer for it. Uh, so let's see what we got here. It's, uh, it's got some folders here from version 13. And that's, I guess, when they did their sample projects. Um, here's version 20. That's the previous version I had on this computer. And what I want to do is I want to install version 21. And it doesn't really give you a very clear indication of what to do next. But what you have to do is pay attention to what these files are. So these ones are all applications. And I, I don't want these sample projects right now. But what I do want is version 21. And notice here they, they actually call it a DVD version because they used to send this out on DVDs. And that's part one. That's an application. So that's the one that I want. And I'm not sure if I have to extract all this first or if it automatically is extracted, but I'm going to try just launching this guy and see if it installs my software. Now, one nice thing about it, I have version 20 on this computer, and so it's going to install any new software that I don't currently have the current version of but it doesn't have to install everything. So it's going to be a little quicker for me this time than it would be for an, an initial installation. So let's double click this and I got a little window that popped up. So that's telling me to extract it. So I'm going to do that. And it's going to extract all these files and that'll looks like it's going to be pretty quick. All right, that took about a minute and it extracted the files and again it doesn't give me any indication of what to do next so I have to do a little bit of hunting around and see what I can figure out so I double click that file the download manager we're done with that so I can close that and let's see Maybe I'll try double clicking this again. And it doesn't want that. So I'm going to go over here to this folder and see what I can find in there. And there's my setup application. So that's the that's the actual uh, file to launch to get this thing installing. At least I hope. So I'm going to double click there. And I'll hit yes. So now it's actually installing version 21. This is the screen that I want to see. And install now. Yep. And this is going to take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes depending on how many different components it has to update. So it's going to take a little while, and as you can see, it's 1% complete, so I'm not going to keep the video going. What I'll do is I'll come back with another video to show you how to, how to get CCW running on your computer, which is just a matter of launching it. I'll start a, a new project and show you how to get it linked into Factory I.O. Okay, talk to you soon.